Okay, so we're going to ask to write this equation here in both vector form and parametric form. And so if we remember, if it's going to be in vector form, I need a point, some kind of xy, plus some kind of parameter times the direction vector ab. Well, the direction vector and the slope are going to be related. And so if I think about taking this equation, rearranging it for y equals mx plus b, I get 7y is equal to negative 2x plus 5 dividing by 7. I get negative 2 over 7x plus 5 over 7. And so if I think about this line, I know I have a y-intercept of 5 sevenths, right? And I go down 2 and over 7, okay? Something like this. So it goes down 2 over 7. So my direction vector, my direction vector, well, if I think about here, right, that means I'm going to go, my x value is 7, and my y value is negative 2. Okay, because I go here, I'm going to go over 7 and down 2. Here's 7, and 2 is my direction vector. So there's my direction vector. And so I need any point that is on this line. And I could use the point 0 and 5 sevenths. That will work. Or I could also recognize that if I let x be negative 1 and y be 1, I'll get 5. So there's lots of possibilities. And so since I first found my y-intercept, which is 0 and 5 sevenths, I'm going to make this my vector equation. And hence my parametric equation will be just 7t for the y, and y is equal to 5 sevenths plus a negative 2, so just negative 2t, negative 2t. And how many ways can I do it? Well, I could go along and just change this point here, and I could also go along and change this vector here. If I make the vector, let's say, twice as big as opposed to, set, I can make it 14, and negative 4, and I could use this point here, which I figured out as negative 1, 1, and you can start to see that there are an infinite way, amount of ways of writing vector equations of lines.